Hi everybody. It's Kathy here for my Tuesday night spiritual tea talk. And our subject is boundaries. Interesting, huh? Um, I wanted to, uh, to, <laughs> to come on and talk about a subject again that comes up uh, regularly when I do my tea leaf readings. Um, but before we get into um, that, let me introduce myself just in case you are new um, and don't know who I am. My name is Kathy Skidmore. I'm a tea leaf and tarot reader. I've been reading professionally over five years, five and a half years now, um, and really love what I do. I get to help people make decisions that might be tough or help them move forward when they're feeling stuck or, you know, just give them some clarity and guidance and I'm really blessed to be able to do what I do. So um, I'm also a Sipology or Steep Tea Consultant, so I sell quality loose leaf tea and tea accessories. If you love tea, again, reach out. Um, I do post occasionally about some of the specials that go on um, with that and uh, and there's always uh, something new in the tea industry. Um, now we do a lot of wellness um, teas and we also have some superfoods and a whole bunch of wonderful things in the catalog now. Functional, they're calling it functional lattes. I'm excited to, uh, to try some of these new flavors that are the specials this month, but enough of that. <laughs> Let's talk about boundaries. So it's interesting how this comes up, as I said, in the readings. So I'll be talking to someone about um, how they're feeling or how, you know, how they feel kind of a little stuck or, or like someone may be kind of walking all over them and they don't feel like they're listened to or they don't feel like they're um, able to voice their opinion or maybe they're you know in a in a relationship that doesn't feel comfortable anymore and a lot of it has to do with whether or not we have these personal boundaries whether or not we're willing to step up and voice our um, you know and it doesn't have to be in a way that is loud and boisterous. It just has to be um, valuing yourself. So uh, it it's making sure that other people are not taking advantage of you. It's making sure that your values are honored as well. Um, sometimes we get away from what our true values are. Um, you know, I love mother nature and anytime I can get outside, um, I do that, but do I recycle absolutely everything that I could? Maybe not. So am I really truly valuing my um, belief that, you know, Mother Nature should be honored and respected if I'm not doing all of the things that I could do to do that? Again, these are boundaries. Um, and everybody has a different comfort level as to, to what works for them and what feels good for them. Um, again, if we talk about relationships, um, you know, if you're not being heard or you feel at least that you're not being heard, um, sometimes we need to stand up to ourselves or for ourselves. Um, and again, that doesn't have to be in someone's face and saying, leave me alone, it could just be the option to get in the car and go um, and walk in nature, I'm back to nature again, um, or the ability to actually, you know, feel like you have a little more control over your own schedule. So um, are you the one that gets to decide um, when the kids are picked up? or whether the kids are not picked up, who's doing it, um, letting, you know, working with others, but in a cooperative way and not allowing um, someone to always feel that it's your responsibility and not their responsibility at all. 
So there's there's lots of examples of boundary, but I feel called to, to pull a couple cards. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and if anyone wants to share what boundaries mean to them, I'd, I'd love to uh, to hear your opinion. Um, of course, I'd love to hear that you guys are here uh, joining me because of course, right now I'm not seeing anyone here. Oh, there you go. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm gonna continue because I don't always get the responses right away, but um, yeah, feel free to share. Even um, afterwards, if you're watching on the replay, um, you know, your comments are always appreciated. Um, I do like, I do like to think that this is a two-way conversation, not just me spewing my, <laughs> my, uh, my beliefs and my uh, insights. Um, but hopefully what I'm providing gives you another point of view or another way to look at something that you hadn't thought of. Um, and that's why I do these tea talks. So I have my tea leaf reading cards. I'm going to pull three because I always love to do three. To me, that's more of a, um, a story. So we're asking about boundaries. Ah, oh, there we go. The tankard celebration fun enjoyment so this is making sure that you have time that you set aside things for you um, again if you are not working out like have you you know set a time every day so you know some people can do mornings I'm not a morning person but 6 a.m. if that's for you then you get up you work out you do what you need to do and if that brings you joy um, if you know walking the dog brings you joy um, again you find time for that if going out and meeting with friends if you know doing um, you know I don't know going outside <laughs> again I'm back to outside and mother nature if that brings you joy make sure that you go out and you enjoy it and when you're there make sure that you are taking that time to you know take a deep breath and appreciate what's around you um, don't just you know run from our house to the car and you know and not appreciate all all of mother nature and all that's around us um, to me that's part of being joyful and about enjoying life so the tankards reminding us that boundaries are um, also about doing things for ourselves ah in an eye so psychic abilities trusting your intuition so again if we're going to talk about boundaries with intuition um, it's about knowing when something is right for you or something is wrong for you. So if if you're, you know, if you're driving the car and all of a sudden you get this feeling, oh, maybe I should stop over here or maybe, um, you know, I should take a different turn. Like I feel like there might be a stop ahead and I don't want to, you know, wait in traffic. Listening to your intuition is definitely setting boundaries and um, making sure that you're honoring yourself when we listen to our intuition. And the more that you do it, you'll find the more that your intuition comes up and helps you in different situations. So I always love the traffic one. You know, you're stuck in traffic and you're kind of going, oh, do I stay here or do I turn? And if I turn, do I go left or right? Which way? Um, a lot of times my intuition will tell me whether or not you know, and it's not just the GPS, it's <laughs> it's my inner knowing that helps me decide whether or not I want to um, continue um, with the path that I'm on. And and that can be metaphorical too, you know, like are we, are we taking the right path um, in life? Are we doing the things that we want to do? Are we honoring ourselves? Um, again, we want to always listen to our intuition and um, feel like we're honoring ourselves when we're doing that. So staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. So the staff is always a reminder that God, the universe, you know, whatever religion you listen to, uh, or listen to, whatever religion you, you honor, this is 
knowing that you are safe and that you have that guidance there. So the guidance that's coming through your intuition is is keeping you safe, is the one that's helping you be the best you, be on the right path, and, and do all of that you can do. Um, so never feel that you are alone. Um, never feel that you don't have choices. To me, the staff is is a, a good reminder that we have our angels, we have our guides, we have so much um, ability and and guidance around us that we usually do ignore. So uh, again, that's about the boundaries um, and knowing when um, when it's our inner knowing and when it's just our second guessing as well. Um, and I'm gonna repeat myself again, <laughs> when, when we use it, our intuition, it becomes stronger and we feel more comfortable using it and we can trust it more. So it's about taking kind of those baby steps and then realizing that, um, that we are taking the right steps while we're doing this. So I see a couple of you have joined me. Thank you, I, en I enjoy having there. Um, yeah, so Deborah. Um, I'm not doing cards tonight. Uh, um, that's only done in my other group, uh, but I appreciate you being here. Um, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Kat, too. Same answer. Um, not pulling cards tonight, but hopefully you can join me. It's the first Tuesday of the month that I pull cards, and um, and the rest of the months, I just talk about subjects that usually come up during readings or that I feel compelled to uh, to share with you guys and hope, again, that it um, helps you in some way and guides you um, as we go along. So I'm going to thank you guys again so much for joining me. Hopefully this makes sense to you. Have some fun. Listen to your inner guidance. And make sure that you are following your own personal boundaries. Don't worry about anybody else's boundaries. They're what your values are. They're about your own self-worth. They're about honoring yourself um, when we set boundaries, when we set those guidelines for ourselves. All right. I'm off. I appreciate all of you. And I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday here at my spiritual tea talk. Oh yes, and don't forget, if you're looking for a reading, I'm available for 30 or 60 minute readings. My prices have gone up, so um, if you have not taken advantage of that, there's still a couple more days left in this week where I will accept um, bookings at my old rate. But um, we move forward and we move on with the new rates uh, in a couple days. So. Um, I look forward to connecting with all of you again, either for a reading or next Tuesday. Take care. Much love.